Hey guys, Jared here, Magnetic Men's Club. Today I'm gonna talk a little bit about my childhood. It's story time, yes. I wanna talk about some of the things that I learned growing up in the 70s and 80s. I'm 49 years old. I was born May 1st, 1975, so I just recently had a birthday. Happy birthday, Jared. Well, thank you, oh my God. Like most, I guess I'm Gen X. I never know how that shit works out, but I think I'm Generation X. Anyway, my kids are a little bit older. They're 23 and 20 now, and kind of me growing up and then seeing how they grew up, I'm not exactly sure who had the better life or who had the better memories. I'd like to think I did. Um, my brother and I are basically what's called Irish twins. We're literally 14 months apart. And I wouldn't say we're the closest, but he knows I would do anything for him. And obviously I know if I needed him, he would be there in a heartbeat. I have a younger brother that is about four and a half. We're just gonna round it to five years different in age than me and my older brother. So he had a little bit of a, a gap. When I say we were blue collar, we were blue collar. My dad worked um, as some type of a fire, uh, either a fire engineer or a firefighter. I don't know exactly what he did for a nuclear power plant, but I know he worked a lot. He worked 12 hour days usually five or six days a week and a couple days off. And my mom, um, when we were younger, she basically raised us and she had a couple part-time jobs, but she didn't really enter the workforce until my younger brother started grade school. And so all we knew is I got my brother's hand-me-downs, I got his shoes, and in a few years, my little brother's gonna get all of that stuff and pray to God it was still in um, fashion. But we, we definitely were, I would say early growing up, we were on the poorer side of blue collar. Um, and not to get too much into it, but my father was a functioning alcoholic. He worked very hard. He was a very knowledgeable man. He could fix anything, but alcohol got to him. And he preferred to drink and kind of hang out with his fireman buddies and um, be anywhere other than near us. Now, I'm not saying he was never near us, but he would prefer to be anywhere other than near us. So largely my mom raised the three boys, um, along with my grandmother and my grandfather. And that's why I talk a lot in my videos, why my grandfather, my mom's dad, he was such an influence in my life because he really was the male figure or male role model that I looked up to. I, I had a bit of a void with my father, but my grandfather definitely filled that void. And this is kind of why one of the reasons why I developed this channel because there are men even my age who didn't even have that. There are men younger than me, obviously, who their father or they don't even really have a father figure in their life. And I can definitely see it in real time now when I'm coaching people. I can usually tell if or who the strong figures in their life were. And a lot of them, for these men, it was women. And I'm not knocking women, but a woman cannot raise a man. A woman cannot turn a boy into a man. Early on, in, I, I remember different times where my father would come home so drunk that me and my brothers would kind of hide underneath the dining room table because my mom was very headstrong as well. And so she never really backed down but the fights got really bad. And the fights got very heated. Sometimes they got physical. Um, I do remember sometimes the police came and we didn't really know too much about it. But back in that time, there really wasn't safe 
places for my mom to take the kids. I mean, this was in the 80s for the most part. Um, they didn't have a lot of those things. So we did it a few times. I do remember going up to my grandparents' house to let them cool off and we'd spend the weekend away. And so I learned at a very young age that uh, what alcoholism can do to a family, what, um, what it can do to an individual. Now, to give you some context, my dad is still alive. I still love him. I don't have a great relationship with him, but I do have a relationship with him. And I remember seeing pictures. I have a picture in my living room when he was in the military. It's, um, the dude had 21-inch arms. He didn't work out. He had massive arms. Broad shoulders. He was a classic ectomorph. He's like 5'10". And he was a very, very good looking man. And I remember when I was a little bit older, he would show us how to fix stuff, but it was always like, he was always sort of like hung over. He didn't, wasn't really present there. He, we would just watch him and we just pick it up. But I kept looking at his arms. I'm like, God, I'm gonna have arms like him one day. Like, I'm just like, he, the presence he, he did have physically, I wanted to be like, but I didn't want to have the drinking problems that, that he did because alcohol does run in the family. Alcohol is, is, can run in the blood. And I was always cognizant of that because also his entire family, for the most part, had a drinking problem absent a few of his relatives but mostly they all developed a drinking problem and so i knew that i had to be careful and also me going into the military which most guys in the military drink um, i did develop to a degree when i was younger a drinking problem i would always go out and drink with the guys when um, the team was not doing something we would go out and drink strip clubs whatever and so i thought it was just normal it's just something that we do but it's always in the back of my mind that um i had to be careful because i did not want to one day get married to one day have a kid or kids and bring that in and one day i did get married one day i started to have kids i did develop a problem but i recognized it soon enough and got it into check. I didn't go to AA, I didn't do any of that, but I did start recognizing certain patterns that I was doing and my wife at the time um, kind of used, you're getting like your dad and that kind of like shook me out of this. And so I guess the point of this video is you don't have to be like your parents I know a lot of the guys that I coach and some of the women I coach, the reason why they're like they, they are or they think they're like they are is just because they don't recognize, well, that's what my, my mom did. That's what my dad did. That's what my siblings did. And so I started doing those things. With that, have an amazing day and we will talk soon. Bye.